How are things looking after Tuesday night? Yeah, um, from a physical point of view, the players are fine. Um, the squad will be very similar to what it was on Tuesday. Um, no one sort of returning, I don't think. Um, and nobody going out. Um, physically, we'll, we'll be well, re uh, well recovered and we'll be prepared. Um, I think if you look at our squad this season, um, the way it's been managed and sometimes you don't feel the benefit of that other than on the night, it's always the game after or it might be the game after. Um, but, you know, we've got plenty of games to go. We'll, we'll be ready to go again on Saturday. Daniel Gretzen's been training for two weeks now. Does he come close to contention or will he need sort of a, a behind closed doors game or anything first? No, we've been trying to do that. It's been difficult because um, we haven't got loads of bodies. So um, we've been looking at different ways of getting Daniel ready if called upon. So um, the training that we've given him and that individual training or the team training, um, we try to put him in situations that he might encounter when he gets to get back on the pitch. We've done that with him on purpose, so um, he's not yet involved, but if he, if called upon or he had to be, then he would be fine, he'd be ready to go. What's the situation with the ones who obviously missed out in the week and have been a bit more longer to... Um, Kim Stewart, unfortunately, is going to be out for a number of weeks. He's got what you call a, um, a syndesmosis ankle injury, so um, that that's quite bad. Um, so he, he'll be out for, say, a number of weeks, which... It's a big, big, big loss. You know, he's been he's been brilliant for us, Kev. He's uh, been a top player since he's been at the club, both on and off the pitch. Um, but it was an unfortunate incident. It's something you can't, you know, you you, you can't legislate for it. It happens. Injuries are part of the game, and it'll give someone else an opportunity. And CJ is not quite right with his foot either, so um, he's still got a little bit of bruising and swelling on that part of his foot. So we'll have to send him for a scan and um, that would obviously put him in doubt for the, the, the trip to Oxford. On the subject of scans, Marvin like Potato went for one on, on Monday, is he progressing nicely still? Yeah, we've got good news from Marvin Scan that the healing process is, is going as well as you can expect it to go, which means now we can push um, push him push him along with his uh, rehab so he can get back out on the grass very quickly and then um, you then go off how he feels on a daily basis and he can increase his workload and we can hopefully have him back in the squad in the next few weeks. He's not he's not gonna be he's not gonna suddenly just reappear. It'll be it'll be a few weeks yet, yeah, but we're we're happy with the way he is at the moment. You always expected Oxford to have that uplift after obviously going to the playoff final last season and we said we'd probably expect goals in the game and it didn't turn out that way, but the way both sides play, you'd expect a really good game again. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, I thought the, the the home game we edged that game and should have won on the day. Um, they nearly won it at the end, um, and they weren't in a great spell at that point. But you had to look at the quality of players they've got, and you know how well that they're coached. And I, I thought they'd come through that, and they've been the top half of the division, and then they've been on a great run, and they've proven. They've proven me right, um, and they had a great result against Doncaster Tuesday night at home, scoring goals and keeping a clean sheet. So that will give them a real lift as well, um, and they'll know that we're a, a good team and they'll have to play well. So I'm expecting a really good game of football. Um, hopefully, we can replicate our away form recently and and bring back a good result.